Hello and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we were continuing off uh, doing more things in Akala, such as taking more shrines, taking on more shrines. Uh, we got to meet uh, Kilton at the Skull Lake and uh, just realized that I left Parfait there at the lake. Wow, what a what a horse owner I am. Then we did the, the tech lab stuff with uh, Robbie and all that over here too. I think we did. I'm not sure. It's been a little bit since so I last recorded the last of that Breath of the Wild part. And then we ended things off by doing this uh, Labyrinth Shrine. Now, in this episode, I want to start off by uh, falling into this hole over here as a... Uh, I don't know if it's all of them in the labyrinths, but I do remember that one of them has like a shrine... Sorry, a chest in the middle that I would like to go pick up. But as you can see over here, we got guardians around, which is not very fun. But luckily, the chest is right over here. We can go find a diamond circlet for guardian resist up. This is the biggest reason why I want to get this. It's going to be very helpful. A luxurious headpiece sold at Gerudo Jewelry Shops. It's decorated with a diamond, which harnesses the power of light to reduce damage received from ancient enemies. Hell yeah, man. Oh god. <laughs> well, they're active now. Well, all he wanted was that uh, diamond circlet, so now that he got that, uh, peace out, guardians. See ya. <laughs> oh god, that is terrifying. Yeah, um, well, we've been there and done that. Now, I would like to go ahead and uh, do some, a couple more shrines, and then we'll start heading off toward the Lanera region, so we can finally start... The uh, Vabruta stuff eventually. You know what though, before we go ahead and do some more shrines over here, I just remembered that there was some guy I wanted to talk to here. That uh, Link promised he'd show a picture of uh, Kilton's stuff to you, I think. He should be uh, somewhere over here. You're not the person. He was like a guardsman, I think? Haas, that sounds right. I think it was you. Hello there, sir. Uh, no, he doesn't got- he doesn't need info. I- did I not get a picture? Well, let me- let me check my album. Oh my god, no, Link, not not time for selfies, jeez. <laughs> you can tell it's been a little bit since I last played Breath of the Wild. Okay, uh... Wait, we did, right there, isn't that... That's what he wants! Well, Haas. Sir. Alright, so I was looking at the quest list again, and I uh, came across the Haas one. That I, I forgot that we need a picture, I think, of Kilton himself, and not just his bang and bone job. So that's why we're back, over here in Kakariko Village. To get a uh, Kilton ready for a photo shoot, kind of. Well, we just need one. How you doing, Kilton? Uh, you don't really have his, uh, your face turned to him. That's all right. Hang tight. He's gonna make sure he gets all your best parts. You're not looking at him, but that's beside the point. Just need a good shot. Perfect. Just like picture day all over again. Well, you might not have taken picture day because I don't know if monsters do school and all that. But uh, <laughs> nice shot is what I'm trying to say. Man Link. Pretty damn good view of uh, Kakariko in the uh, outside field over there. Death Mountain. You can see uh, Rudani over there shooting the beam at Ganon at the castle. Beautiful, beautiful sights all around. Trees in the background. There's the tower, I believe. I think that's the Lanero Tower, if I'm remembering right. And there's a shrine or something in the distance. I, I don't remember. Oh, but would you look at that? We got a chest. I did not know this was up here, but I'll take it. Nice. Ooh, Fenric Bow. Attack up? It's not bad. You know what? I do have like 50 billion Knights Bows, and they are good. But I'll drop one for now, because the Fenric is pretty cool with that uh, zoom in uh, sniper scope uh, shit he's got there. So uh, I'll go ahead and take it. Thank you. Okay, now certainly this time, Haas, he's got the right picture you need. You've got information about Kilton? Allow me to take a look. There you go. You made sure to get all the Kilton's uh, good sides. <laughs> I see. How strange. Seriously, I can't thank you enough. This will surely help me hunt him down. Really, I must thank you somehow. Oh, Silver Rupee. Well, that uh, certainly helps uh, with all the trouble Link had to get to get that damn picture. Well, I must return to my mission now. Farewell. Thank you, Haas, and he's glad he could help you out. Man, this never gets old, Parfait, does it? Just you and Link strolling through the beautiful Hyrule fields with the, you know, occasional danger of uh, some dangerous monsters here and there. But other than that, pretty nice. Now, uh, let's see. So there's that shrine I want to do. It's like climbing close to Death Mountain. And there's this one over here, which I'm on the way to. But I think I remember there's one in this uh, peninsula over here that I want to check out as well. And uh, speaking of dangerous monsters earlier, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, we got uh, some monster to deal with in this thing. You know what, it'd probably be a bit easier. Instead of uh, going the long way around, we could take the uh, shortcut, which 
it's probably not really a shortcut because it's probably gonna take a while, but you know what? It'll do. Oh, well, there we go. That wasn't that bad. For some reason, my uh, brain thought this uh, path was a bit longer. But it's uh, just right over here. It's gotta cross through. Oh, wait, that's a shrine platform, isn't it? Oh, that's right. I forgot we need to carry something over here, don't we? And I think I remember where it is. It's like off on like a hill, isn't it? Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> you know, of course. I just had to remember right when we get to the end to where this uh, shrine is. That it's a uh, it's a quest one. We need a uh, an orb to place in the pedestal. Wow, that's that's just great. <laughs> that's just fantastic. If I'm remembering right, the orb should be somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Nice. Right over here with this uh, stone, which I believe just talks about the uh, the shrine, right? Only a hero bearing this ancient orb shall be granted the right of trial on Rist Peninsula. Yep, there we go. All right, now uh, there's like a few different ways we can uh, bring this over. We could do the uh, the cryonis method, which is probably the easiest one. Or if you want to be, uh, you know, uh, get into some uh, danger zones of this, then uh, <laughs> I guess you could stasis throw it. Although I'm going to play it safe. It's uh, much easier that way. And you don't got to worry about losing the ball as much. No, no, bad is awful. Bad is awful. We could talk about this. He, he, he's just gotta, he just gotta bring over the sword, man. He doesn't want to have any beef with you, but, you know, if you insist, I guess, uh, you can fight back. Is that a black Lizalfos? I think so. Okay, so this is gonna take a longer time to get rid of him then, but that should be no problem. We got Daruk's protection if we need it. I got arrows for days. Get out of here. No more, uh, water spit to, uh, deal with anymore. I think from here on now we should be good to just walk, right? Perfect, there we go. Alright, well, now that's all that's left is to just uh, circle around this uh, very cool um, swirly design, which I always thought was pretty cool as uh, monsters and moblins and everything started chasing them. That's fun, but uh, Link should be faster than them, right? He should be faster. Oh, they lost him. Or I guess them being stupid works too. <laughs> we're almost there, just a little bit to go. And as we're making our way over here, I just want to talk about uh, the new Zelda game. It's coming out uh, next Friday, or I guess this Friday. I, I don't know. Some people count Sunday as like part of the week. Some people don't. But yeah, Echoes of Wisdom comes out very soon on Friday, the 26th. And I'm uh, very excited for it, of course. And I am planning on uh, playing the whole game for the channel. So uh, obviously, if you're excited for that, then uh, stay tuned for either Thursday night or Friday. I, I still haven't decided when it'll be. I guess it just depends on how early I get the game. I'll be having part one out, and I'm very excited. Like I said, you can probably tell by the excitement with how much I won't stop talking about it right now, but it's deserved. It looks like it'll be, looks like it'll be a lot of fun, and uh, it's going to be interesting having Zelda as a main lead. Retag Zumo's blessing. Retag Zumo Shrine. The beauty of a lot of Shrine Quests being blessings is uh, you don't have to do even more work for your already hard work of uh, getting things in there in Ancient Core. Ooh, giant ancient core. I will take that. I forgot that gives you that. That's going to be very handy, like I think I've mentioned the last time we got one, for uh, stuff later on. Beautiful. Our next shrine. There it is. Right over there. In the distance. How you doing, wolves? Damn, you guys are pretty fast. I forgot that they can sometimes catch up to your horse. Now, yeah, definitely got uh, people to contend with in terms of speed, uh, Parfait. Although, uh, wolves are way too small to have a saddle on them, so, uh... <laughs> Link would probably just straight up crush their body. So, uh, he'll stick to horses, thank you very much. Here we are. Pulling up, too. Wait for it. Just, uh, Link, can you, uh, activate the, the name, please? I've been, uh, waiting too long. There it is. The, the Da Hesho Shrine. A minor test of strength, Da Hesho. Oh, I think this is our first test of strength shrine, I think. I mean, the Kakariko one, I guess, kind of counts, as, but not really. It's just more of like a tutorial thing. But yes, here we go, the Test of Strength Shrines, if uh, anyone watching doesn't know what these are. Basically, they just have you fight these things, just Guardian Scouts. Although, obviously, uh, since we uh, got lucky with this one being a minor one, it's pretty easy. Although, when it, it goes all the way to, like, minor, I think there's, like, an intermediate one, and then there's a major one. The major ones, 
are straight up terrifying, but uh, luckily we don't got to deal with that for right now. Okay, so what do I want to use on this thing? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll just keep using what I'm using right now. Oh god, he's going to go in for a hit. Oh, we're good. Oh, it's about to break. <laughs> well, isn't that just nice? Uh, okay, nice broadsword it is then. Sometimes I do, like, a spinny move. Uh, sometimes I do this. They do, like, certain moves based off their health. They do this about, like, half health. When they're closer to full, they do, like, a charged spinny move. And when they're about to die, they do, like, a super powerful cannon laser move, which I think will probably be charging up right here. Yeah, there it is. It's best to kill him before that happens. It's pretty nasty. And there we go. I know some of these uh, Test of Strength Shrines give you some pretty good stuff. Although, of course, I'm not expecting anything good from a minor uh, Test of Strength one. So let's see. What do we got? Well, I'm surprised. That's pretty damn good. A giant ancient core. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No attention. We got a flight uh, paraglider link flying over directly above the shrine over. Pretty sure it's like right below somewhere, I think. Should be, I'm pretty sure. Now I'm starting to doubt myself, but I remember pinging it somewhere. So it's gotta be around here somewhere. Probably a bit further down. Was this shrine like a ghost shrine or something? Like, did I, did Link place a ghost beacon? Cause like, where the hell is this shrine? I've like found all the shrines before in this game, like once or twice before. But I just have no idea where this one is. I, I just don't know where it is. So, you know what? I guess I'll just start heading off to Lineru because I, I just have no idea where this shrine is. I think this is probably, like, the easiest way for us to uh, get to Lineru area. It's uh, this shrine where uh, the Zora tells Link that uh, a certain uh, Prince Sidon wants to go ahead and meet him on a bridge. And, uh, you know, he's uh, neglected that uh, Zora's wishes for uh, way too long now because he <laughs> went off to go do the Gorons first. But don't worry, Zora. It's uh, never too late to join in and uh, help the cause of the Zoras, right? He's here to help now. Only took him a little longer, but at least he's here. Just gotta make it through these uh, fishbone monster camp things lit by torches everywhere, and then uh, it'll only be a home stretch to uh, Lineru. Although, obviously, it's not gonna be entirely that easy. We got enemies to fight. Although, I'm pretty sure the enemies in the uh, Lineru area are uh, weaker than the, the Death Mountain and stuff. So, Link's fought up. Uh, stronger things than you before. So he's not scared. Get out of here, Lizalfos. You're no match for him. Oh my god, damn Octorox. I forgot that Octorox are like everywhere in Lineru. Man, they get annoying with uh, the amount of rocks they spit at you. And they have pretty damn good aim with it too. Like they can send that shit flying like incredibly far and still manage to land a good hit. So you know what? Whatever aim thing they got with their rocks, Link would like that on his bow. Oh, there's one. Here! Over here! How you doing there, Zora? Hopefully he's not too late. Oh, hey! This is the first time I've seen one! I'm Tokita of the Zora. Aren't you, uh, Hylian? You are, aren't you? Yes, I could tell. You are most certainly a Hylian. As fate would have it, our Prince Sidon is looking for a Hylian like you. The Prince is at Inogo Bridge right now. Will you consent to go and see him? I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> no, don't worry, he's here to see him now. It's just he added some other business in Death Mountain first. Though I'd kind of like you to go even if you don't want to. <laughs> hmm, yes, it is decided. You will indeed go and see the Prince, even if you don't really want to. Prince Sidon is at Hinogo Bridge, just over there. He's upstream on the Zora River, which lies to the east of here. You will find him near that tower. Hylian, I am counting on you. Well, don't you worry, he won't let you down. Hinogo Bridge it is. Don't mind, Link. He's just gonna sneak on by. Straight to the top. You have no idea he's over here. You don't need to look around, just keep on, uh... Looking out at the water and the trees are very beautiful, by the way. The pine trees and the, uh, the fog and, and everything. Let's just, uh, come here to- Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! That become just got shit on! You know, it's been a little bit since, uh, Link's pulled a sneak attack. 
Well, I guess never mind. No sneak attack. So, uh, death it is for them. I don't really want to waste the durability that much on this sword. But we'll probably find another one pretty soon. Get out of here, Bokoblins. Well, don't think he forgot about you guys. He was just waiting to get to the top. It was Boulder. Oh god, they notice now. Holy shit, I forgot he's got shock arrows. Oh god, that's that is terrifying. Okay, what's one way I can do this? I could probably bomb them, right? Or j death, straight up death, that works too. From the top for round two, without dying this time. I was pretty stupid to not really fully use the boulder as cover, like I really should have. But he's not going to make that mistake again. You know what, I'm going to headshot this guy instead. There he goes, falling right on in. I was hoping he'd fall into the water so it could kill him, but uh, I guess not. So I can certainly have this uh, Bokoblin here uh, fall down over here. Just a uh, bomb, can you just do your job real quick? Thank you very much. Oh, there goes the Bokoblin. He's going to roll on to his death straight to the bottom over there. Perfect. And you're next. Stay right there, stay right there. Perfect. Oh, God. Oh, abort mission. Oh, God, the platform broke. Oh, man, what a disaster. But at least we can still pick up that chest over there. We just got to be careful of this mob and that shock arrow. Oh, and they got ice arrows. Oh, they got the whole package. I really need this guy to die. Please die. Please die. Oh, now you want to slip into the water. <laughs> now you want to slip into the water. Oh, my God, where'd the chest go? Oh, there it is. This Pokemon survived? Wow. You know what? He's going to keep you alive. Just uh, in honor of uh, you surviving for so long. Hunter's Shield. Wow, all that for a Hunter's Shield. What? Thank you very much. Our first shock arrows. Perfect. Nice. Uh, don't mind uh, Link. He's uh, here to pick up the scraps that you uh, drop when you uh, drown and fell to your demise. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I've mentioned this in the playthrough so far, but uh, to those who don't know, I mean... It's possible. People probably know this game's been out for a pretty long time. <laughs> the Lanera region has a lot of rain and a lot of mist and stuff, so uh, climbing is going to be somewhat of a pain in this area. But uh, usually this um, tower is not that bad to get to. Ooh, this Bacaba knows where he's at, huh? Please, you probably have element arrows, don't you? What do you have? Ice arrows, okay. Well, how about this? You'll be seeing ice death! Oh god, I guess Link 2! <laughs> I didn't think about that through very properly. Okay, you know what? We got some strong weapons from Death Mount. Why not? Let's take on the whole tower. Let's go. Come over here. You're first. Off to a great start. Thank you very much for that sword. I uh, greatly appreciate it, Picoblin. Now, uh, all I need you to do is just uh, die, which you are pretty good at doing when you have no weapon. There we go. Oh my god, Link, you gotta, s <laughs> you gotta stop launching yourself off these places. Oh my god. I would like to- oh my god, wow! That- <laughs> oh god! Yeah, that Bokob is not coming back from there. Wow. He's still alive, but uh... Damn, he's not gonna come back up this mountain anytime soon. Not the most uh, proficient way of taking uh... You know, taking out this tower, but... You know what? As long as it works, that's fine by me. And I think from here on out we should be good. I don't think there's any more uh, enemies we gotta face, so... We should be uh, just good to keep on heading over to the tower. You know, it's times like these with the uh, Link climbing big-ass mountains, towers, all sorts of things, you realize Hyrule's got some pretty damn good views. It's a very beautiful place. So much uh, trees and landscapes and grass and water and everything. All the beauties of uh, Hyrulean nature. You love to see it. Oh my god, I forgot. I think there's a Zora guy up here. We'll go and talk to him after this uh, tower. Perfect. More map space. Now, how are you doing, though, Zora? You said it's pretty high. Wow, I cannot believe it. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me, yes, you! I am Groove of the Zora. It is apparent that you are a traveler, but may I ask what brought you here? Hmm, how very astute of you. An excellent query, indeed. I, by order of Prince Sidon of Zora's domain, am searching for a Hylian. Or I was, but then I fell asleep. Well, you don't have to worry any longer. You're talking to a Hylian right here. I awoke to a loud noise and awful quaking, and now here I am. Oh, shit! I forgot that the reason this guy's up here is all Link's fault when he <laughs> wakened all the towers at the Great Plateau. Well, um, he's kind of to blame for that, but uh, he's not going to tell you. Uh, you just... Maybe you grew wings like a Rito or something. I don't know. I'd like to get down and be on my way, but I'm simply too high up. I need to figure something out. Prince Sidon is down at the bridge below, but for some reason I cannot seem to catch his attention. But you, 
You are a Hylian, yes? Well, yes, he is. Well, then, my luck is improving. Prince Sidon, I found one! I found a Hylian! Hmm, Prince Sidon doesn't seem to notice my struggle. Perhaps I should swallow my fear and jump to the river below. Then I could return to him. He must be worried sick. No, nope, can't do it. I'm too high up. I'll likely meet the gods of the Ever After before I ever see Prince Sidon again. Mr. Hylian, I must apologize. It will be some time before I can get back to Prince Sidon. Please, you must leave me here and go on ahead. He's that way ahead of you there. Uh, hopefully you can find your way out. You know, he'd love to give you his paraglider, but then he wouldn't be able to get back down either. So, uh, <laughs> good luck with finding a way down. The towers are climbable, so maybe you could do that. Although, Zora fins are probably pretty slippery. And here we are. Our next shrine, the So Kofi Shrine. Right by... Prince Sidon at Inogo Bridge. Another minor test of strength, all right. I can mess with that, let's go. We don't have a lot of health, but uh, these guys don't really do much. All right, come over here, little guy. Go and do your charging move, let's go. Come here! Taste this! And I got another thing coming for you as well. Eat this ancient battle act. Oh, you're gonna go ahead and do your uh, little uh, laser spin thing. Well, I can deal with that, let's go. Here we go, oh God. There's no way I'm about to get too cocky and die. To a weak ass guardian scout. Not on my watch. Come over here and die. Thank you. Now, of course, let's go ahead and uh, reap the benefits and uh, pick up some uh, good, good stuff over here in this chest. What are we gonna get? We lucked out last time and got a giant ancient core, but it's probably not gonna be something that uh, big this time. But I could be surprised. Knight's bow. Okay, not bad. I am Torfeo of the Zora. I have been searching for a Hylian like you for a very long time. My home, Zora's domain, is in terrible danger. That is why Prince Sidon sent me in search of a strong Hylian warrior. Yeah, he knows the drill. He's uh, down there at Inogo Bridge. Yeah, <laughs> it's just right over there. And I think you can actually see him off in the distance standing on that tower too. Don't worry, he'll, he'll talk to the prince. Don't, don't you worry. He won't keep you hanging. Oh my god, big hearty radish! I forgot that you could get that here. That's gonna be big for some big, juicy cooking food there. You know what, Link? Since you are about to talk to a uh, prince, prince of the Zoras, why don't you uh, show off the uh, diamond, beautiful uh, diamond uh, headband, circlet thing you got at the uh, the Lome Labyrinth. You know, just to, to show that you're, you know, may maybe he'll uh, appreciate that you have riches to share. He's a prince. I, I don't know. He's not going to give a shit. He really won't. But uh, <laughs> just for funsies, I guess. Sidon, Zora Prince. Pardon the entrance, but you are hiding, aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd ever wanted to talk to me. He would love to talk to you, Sidon. He's here to help out. Aha, Hylian. Yes, I knew it. Oh, pardon me. I'm Sidon, the Zora Prince. And what is your name? Go on, please tell me. Why, with pleasure, he will. Link? Your name is Link! What a fantastic name! Hmm, though I cannot shake the feeling that I have heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it is a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. Yeah, uh, he could see you from the, uh, the shrine outside over there. <laughs> I've seen the way you work. I can tell by how you carry yourself that you are no ordinary person. Link! You must be a strong warrior among the Hylians, correct? You're damn right he is. Aha, just as I suspected. I am a Zora Prince, after all. <laughs> I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. And uh, maybe, perhaps, you have an eye for beauty? Don't you notice the, uh, the beautiful diamond he's got on his head over there? Maybe? No? Alright, well, okay, carry on. Yes, exquisite! I have been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man like you, Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from Divine Beast Varuta. Please promise you will help us, 
We need your strength, warrior. Won't you please come to Zoro's domain with me? He will, Sidon. Wow, really? Thank you, Link. You're indeed the man I thought you were. Now, Zoro's domain will be saved for certain. No time to waste. Hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you will need to go straight along this path. As a Hylian, I know you are unable to swim up the river, and as such, the path to the domain may be a bit treacherous. You likely have a tough fight in store, but there are monsters up ahead that attack of electricity. Don't give up! I believe in you! Oh, that's right! I have something that I would like to give to you. This is just a small trinket to show that I have faith in you. Thank you very much, Sidon, for the Electro Elixir, which is uh, pretty helpful, because uh, a lot of enemies going forward have a shit ton of shock arrows. It is a drink that will increase your resistance to electricity. I'm not sure why, but its effects do not seem to work for Zora, perhaps because it was made specifically for Hylians. It should work wonders for you, though. I shall go on ahead and make sure there is not anything strange going on where you are headed. I'm counting on you. Farewell, Sidon, with your graceful flipping dives. Hell yeah. Man, if only he could swim through waters enough waterfalls like you. And there we go, reach Zora's domain. The quest to make it to the domain begins now. Through the treacherous path with the monsters all around past Hinogo Bridge. With us getting started on the reach Zora's domain quest to begin the whole everything with Varuta story stuff, I was thinking it's a good place to wrap up the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'll see you in the next one where we are going to be making our way through the path, right? All the way over here, winding paths, curves everywhere, until we'll eventually make our way over past the Great Door Bridge to Zora's Domain right over there. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching, subscribe if you're enjoying my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.